Hey, it's Monday, so it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. And we have high school and college hoops, as well as the best wrestlers in the Loco going toe-to-toe. So let's go. The USCB Sandsharks had one more clash in the Cove before swimming away for the holidays. And for the second straight Saturday, it was a Sandshark sweep. Coach Sharon Versip's women have won back-to-back games after a 69-36 route of New College of Florida as Shania Rose scored 14 points to lead four Sandsharks in double figures. USCB outscored the mighty Banyans 15-2 in the second quarter and didn't let up. Eight Sandsharks scored in double digits for Ron Fudala's high-flying men's team, which upped its lofty scoring average once again with a 112-97 victory. Larry Bullock had 19 points and Tasso Sfanos was 6 of 8 from three-point range for 18 to lead the Sandsharks, who will be 7-1 when they host Augusta to open Peach Belt Conference play on January 3rd. It was a busy weekend of high school hoops as well, and our friends at Buford's own were in the nest at Buford High for the Eagles rematch of Tuesday's Loco on Loco matchups in Bluffton. The Bobcat girls were in command from the start, as Takoya Hayward collected 17 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, and 6 steals, and Amira Brown added 16 points, 5 assists, and 7 steals in a rout. But Buford's boys avenged Tuesday's defeat with a gritty 55-40 win in the nightcap to snap a three-game skid. Samari Bonds led the way with 15 points, 6 boards, 5 assists, and 3 steals for the Eagles, while Garen Willis posted a double-double and Brandon Blackman ripped down 15 boards along with 6 points and 5 assists. The Bobcats were right back at it Saturday with the trip to Estill to take on the Hampton County Hurricanes and the Bluffton girls kept rolling as Hayward flirted with a quad double with 20 points, 8 boards, 10 assists, and 9 steals in a 60-33 win before the Hampton County boys emphatically avenged an early season loss to the Bobcats with a 70-44 rout. The Canes swept Battery Creek on Friday in Estill. We were supposed to have a loco on loco double dip at John Paul II on Friday with Patrick Henry paying a visit, but the nasty stuff that's been going around got into the Patriots boys program and left them with too few players, so it was ladies night and the home team had the upper hand. Brady Mahoney racked up 17 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 blocks, and Gracie Henderson drained four three-pointers to lead the Golden Warriors to a 44-28 win. They were able to get in both ends of the doubleheader at Buford Academy, where Hilton Head Prep pulled off a sweep of the Eagles. Courtney Campbell continued her incredible output with 27 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 steals, and 8th grader Phoebe Helms ripped down 18 boards to go with 6 points in a win in the girls' game. And Prep's boys got hot from 3-point range in the 4th quarter to pull away for a 53-40 win. Brendan Moore had 16 points, and Billy Barron and Ben Frey added 12 each for the Dolphins. Prep met its match a day later against Hammond School, which swept the Dolphins on Saturday in Sea Pines after the boys took down Hilton Head Christian Academy on Friday. HHCA's girls jumped over to Savannah for a tournament and went 1-1 one one against some tough competition, falling 62-40 to Atlanta Power Archer before bouncing back for a 42-38 win over Johnson behind 25 points and 11 rebounds from Morgan Scott. We'll break down the most intriguing results from a busy weekend of high school hoops and reveal our Loco Power Rankings tonight on the Loco Sports Lowdown, streaming live at 10 p.m. on the Loco Media Network on YouTube. The May River Sharks claim the Low Country Wrestling Championship crown Saturday, racking up eight champions and 257 points to easily outpace runner-up Battery Creek's 151 points. The Dolphins had three champs, while Bridges Prep claimed two individual titles and placed third, and fourth place Hilton Head had one champ. Four champions pinned all three other placers in their weight classes. May River's Dylan Seaman, Joshua Echeverria, and Will Morrow, and Battery Creek's Gunnar DeGroat. Impressive stuff. Whale Branch won the girls' title with Alexis Jordan Walker and Mary Black claiming gold in their weight classes, and host Hilton Head won the middle school crown. We'll take a longer look at the results at 10 p.m. Monday on the Loco Sports Lowdown and dive even deeper at 10 p.m. Wednesday on the Loco Grind. New local sports talk every weeknight on the Loco Media Network on YouTube. Tune in tomorrow to find out what goes down Monday night and celebrate the Loco high school football stars who earned all state honors. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco.